the Rice Lake Digital Wheelchair Scale is a quality, user-friendly device for the safe weighing of mobility-challenged individuals. Place your scale in an open area with plenty of room for unpacking, being sure to keep the correct side up. Using a scissors or box cutter, cut the bands securing the box. Using two people, remove the top carton. It is important to retain all packaging in case the unit must be returned for modification, recalibration, or repair. Immediately inspect the unit for visual damage or missing components. Along with your wheelchair scale, you should also find an operation manual and small parts box that includes the AC adapter, RS-232 cable, and scale feet. Remove the foam packing blocks and store with any of your retained packaging materials. Using two people, carefully lift the unit from its packaging by the scale base. This is extremely important because lifting by the handrail may damage the hinges or cause problems with the sensitive electronics of the scale base. Your wheelchair scale is designed to be stored in an upright position like so. Remove the plastic wrapping and locate the four enclosed scale feet. Completely screw in each foot in a clockwise motion, followed by two counterclockwise turns. It is important that the scale rest evenly on all four feet in order to weigh accurately. Gently lay the scale base on a hard, flat surface where you intend the scale to be used. Avoid thick carpeting or uneven surfaces. At this time, check the scale to be sure that the black base is completely off of the floor on all four sides. The base should be resting evenly on the four scale feet. Apply pressure at each corner to be certain the scale is level and does not rock. Adjust the scale feet as necessary. A scale base that is uneven or touching the floor will produce inaccurate weighments. Loosen the black knob on each side of the handrail. After tilting the rail upright, re-tighten each knob to be sure each hinge is secure. After tightening, the knobs can be pulled out and readjusted to point downward and out of the way. Locate your scale's AC adapter or power cord and plug into the back of the scale indicator like so. The unit also operates on an internal rechargeable battery that charges as the scale is plugged in. Your Rice Lake Digital Wheelchair Scale comes factory calibrated and is now ready to use. Turn the scale on by pressing the green on-off key. Prior to weighing a patient, step on the scale to be sure that all scale functions are working properly. Press the reweigh key to be sure your scale is repeating and weighing correctly. these simple steps for basic patient weighing. First, turn on your scale by pressing the on-off key. The display will indicate 0.0, .0 pounds. After the patient boards the scale, the display will read weigh, followed by the person's weight in pounds and three short beeps to indicate the end of the weighing cycle. To change the value to kilograms, simply press the pound kg button. Toggle back and forth using this key. Use the reweigh function as necessary to retake a weight value. Keep in mind while weighing patients in a wheelchair to subtract the weight of the wheelchair and other items such as blankets or pillows. By doing this, you will achieve the most accurate weight of the patient. This calculation can also be done using the tear function, which we will cover next. is used to subtract the weight of wheelchairs or other equipment attached to the patient. You can use the tear function in one of two ways, by weighing an empty chair or by entering a known tear weight value. Find and enter an unknown tear as follows. With the scale set at 0.0, .0 place the wheelchair or extra items on the scale. The scale will weigh the items as it flashes weigh, followed by their total weight. With the load still on the scale, press and hold the BMI tear key until tear appears on the display. The scale will then return to 0.0 .0 and tear will appear on the left side of the display. As you remove the load, the scale reading will show a negative value equal to the weight of your items. Begin to weigh your patient as normal and the scale will display the actual weight of the patient. Once the patient is stabilized, confirm the weight using the reweigh key. Continue to use the same tear weight for multiple patients as long as the same wheelchair and equipment is used. 
Many times the weight of a wheelchair is already known. Enter the value as follows. Without any weight on the scale, lightly press and release the tear key. Because the keypad is attached to a live portion of the scale, a light touch is all that is required. Adding too much pressure may cause the scale to begin a weight reading. After the tear function is engaged, the scale will alternate between a default tear of 30 pounds and the word tear. To change your value, press and hold the pound kg key until the furthest digit to the right represents the first number of your tear value. For example, to enter 44 pounds, hold the pound kg key until the first digit reads 4. To enter the next digit, quickly press the pound kg key twice and hold until the next value is reached. When your complete value is entered, press the tear key once more. You may now accurately weigh the patient. To cancel the tear function, press and hold the key until tear disappears from the left of the display. Tear is also cleared when your scale is turned off. Your scale comes with an internal BMI calculator for easily calculating a patient's body mass index. It's important to note that if calculating the BMI of a patient in a wheelchair, the tear function must be engaged to subtract the wheelchair weight. Not doing so will result in an inaccurate BMI calculation. To calculate BMI, you must also know the patient's height. With the patient on the scale, press and release the BMI tear key. Note that holding this key with the weight on the scale will engage the tear function. If weighing in pounds, a default height of 5 feet appears. Use the up or down arrow keys to increase or decrease the amount in one foot increments. Press the BMI key again and a default of 7 inches will appear. Adjust as necessary using the up and down arrow keys once more. Inches can be adjusted to the nearest 1 half inch. Press the BMI key once more to accept the inches value. The display will then show the final entered height. Press BMI again to see the calculated BMI value. And finally, to cancel BMI, press the BMI key once more.